Hey smokers, Gerard one here. I'm going to offer you a little update video. I meant to do this a little bit earlier in the week, but I was somewhat ill. So that's why that did not go through. Um, so I'm coming out with it right now, which is probably about the time when you're usually expecting a video. This is just an update video. So a uh, little recap on what happened last week. Uh, I uploaded a video called Installing a SSD and SSD in a PS4. Uh, I didn't actually do that in the video. It was actually a joke video for uh, supporting net neutrality. And it was I didn't think it was going to be a big deal uh, because it was supposed to make a point about net neutrality. And if, you know, there's certain websites you consume, I mean, you may not be able to see them in the future, you know. Um, I'm not going to get into net neutrality at all in this video, but I was trying to, you know, promote the support of net neutrality uh, either... A, a lot of you really didn't like the fact that I pulled a joke on you guys. Or B, YouTube automatically took down the video and uh, detected that it was some sort of spammy repeating video. So I'm never going to make a video like that ever again. I'm never going to promote any sort of um, cause or anything regardless of how much sense it makes. Because um, I don't think that's what you guys want to see from the channel. So anyway... Uh, in other news, I actually did get my um, netbook working properly. After the last video, um, the netbook actually was unable to load all my music in. It was able to load everything on the drive, but it couldn't read the directory. Now, you did just see Windows 98 flash by there. I could have actually done this with DOS. I needed to let DOS format the drive. I didn't let it do that. I didn't think it could. I thought that it absolutely needed to be formatted somewhere else, that it couldn't format out that far. So go figure. I don't know what's what's going on there. So now it, um, you know, has my entire library with everything I could need. As you can see, I have some Christmas music that's playing here. Of course, you won't hear it because of Content ID. But, you know, you get the picture. There's a lot of freaking music in there. And this is the music directory listing. And as you can see, we have... 267 directories uh, and you can see total bytes there um, and yeah we only have 27 gigs free so we have used most of the space on this now but I am very satisfied how this turned out it could have been done on total DOS it's fine I actually did the same thing with Windows 98 so if we, if we go into win here, it'll try and start Windows 98 and it's not going to work. It's going to crash. Need to be in safe mode pretty much. It won't work any other way. Um, so I think we should just control delete this. Yeah, fuck. Okay, I need to force it off. Okay. So you can go into just safe mode. Right now I have it set up to only go into command prompt only. And it still is going into command prompt only, so maybe it will go into safe mode when I type Windows now? Yeah, I think it's actually going to work now. So yeah, if I actually do need a, a GUI for some reason, and I need to access stuff, here it is. It's working. This is the music folder polling. Uh, we can see just how big it really is. It's getting bigger and bigger here. Bam! There it is. So if you want, you can even see the full directory listing with um, long file names. Um, and it does show in the bottom here 270 objects. So we have quite a lot of stuff in there. Um, so as you can see, MP3 files not going to be playable unless you install like Winamp or whatever. Not a big deal. I'm not really using this for Windows. I only want it to use DOS anyway. So, um, But I have some WAV files here that actually will play. Um, so, you know... Uh, yeah, that's the other problem. MPX Play needs to directly access um, the, the depths of DOS in order to access shit. So I could actually bring up MPX Play, um, which is right here, actually. And it just crashes, so... Let's see if I can... Nope. 
yeah. crashed everything. So trying to run an MS-DOS program in safe mode, it already warned me, not a good idea, so let's not do that again. So yeah, it was a pretty fun project. Uh, I'm using this in my car almost every day, as much as I can. This is what it looks like when it starts up. I have it so that the, in order to bring it up, it goes like that. Because I had this issue where if I put an, a line in the auto EXE C bat, it glitched it out and I couldn't do anything. So I just make it so it's really easy to start up. Just hit M and it's just a quick little batch file. And then I can go back to DOS and still use it normally and just go back and forth. It loads super fast. It's, it's great. Now I've never actually used the tabs. It's actually really easy to set up. You just make another tab. You pick where the, you want the music and bam. And you can use control tab to switch between them. So it's uh, pretty cool. So I could go from ACDC and then screw that. I want to go to Yanni and then uh, I want to go to this. I want to listen to this and then, you know, I want to listen to that. So it's uh, that's pretty neat. I'm probably going to get a lot of usage out of that. Now, how does this work? How can you actually function with this while you're on the road and driving? Well, you absolutely should not. It's not safe at all. Um, I actually have done this <laughs> just a little bit. I didn't actually look at the screen. I knew what was on the screen, and I touched the... Uh, I could feel and touch the individual arrow keys to move the cursor, go to the next track, go down, go to the next track. There is no numpad plus on this, so it can't just be a one button. It can't just be a one button press. Uh, to go to the next track. So you have to go down and enter, down and enter. So, uh, and then this requires, you know, two hands there. So, yeah. I probably won't be doing that in the future just because it's unsafe and um, illegal. I think that's actually illegal to do that in my area. I'm not, I'm not sure, actually. Um, it probably should be, to be honest, because, I mean, that's how people will literally die. So, uh, don't die with your awesome MPX play, because then you will not be able to use MPX play uh, on your DOS netbook, or in my case, currently Windows 98 netbook, but I am way too lazy to want to change it, because the only thing that separates DOS and this is that it has a brief second of the 98 logo, but you know what, I think actually I can get rid of that right now. Um, I think all you have to do is go in here. Oh, fuck. Fuck. You just have to go in here and go logo equals zero, I think. Hopefully this doesn't break anything. And now let's see it. It says starting Windows 98. Who cares? Thanks for watching, everybody. I know this was not a video you're expecting this week, uh, but I'll, I'll see what I can do for you. Um, thanks for watching.